British Deputy High Commissioner Ben Lewin Jones has urged the media and other stakeholders to keep the pressure up and report issues of climate change and its adverse effects. Lewin Jones said this at a media dialogue ahead of the International Day of Climate Action. Our correspondent Justin Akadoye has more in this report. The annual International Day Against Climate Change, mapped in October 24, seeks to promote action against global warming and its effects. Ahead of the day, the British Deputy High Commission, in collaboration with One Foundation, set up this dialogue to discuss some of the challenges affecting the globe. Nigeria represents less than 1% of the contributors of greenhouse gases. However, with a nation's economy overly dependent on oil production, it may be hard to reach the target of net zero emissions by 2060. The key thing, though, is that it is a transition. We must be moving towards renewable energy, which we are in the UK, with a solid net zero commitment and indeed with real and tangible targets to produce renewable energy, not least wind energy, to make that real. But it's not just about energy, it's about energy efficiency. It's about making sure we only use the energy we do. It's about making sure we use it as efficiently as we do. According to federal government statistics, in 2022 alone, over 500 people have died from the impact of flooding, 45,000 houses destroyed and 70,000 farmlands submerged, affecting livelihoods. The government says this is the worst since 2012. This is just as the House of Representatives has resolved to investigate remittances to the ecological funds and withdrawals from the account between 2010 and 2022, alleged mismanagement of funds by the beneficiaries. So climate action was identified because it's clear that the issues around climate change are issues of uh, life and death. If they are not dealt with, a lot of people are going to be pushed into extreme poverty because of issues around flooding, we have issues around drought, we have issues around desertification. Whole communities are having to move just because of the issues around climate change and climate action. People out there need to understand that climate change, circular economy, all those uh, concepts need to be brought to basic for you to, under, to know that your, these are actions that need as your, as your, as your, life, your means of life, your life supports, the air you breathe in, the water you consume, your health, your environment is very important. And we really, really, really need to get our heads around that reality of the terrible tragedies and pains that are happening to the common man, first of all. But it, it comes up, it hits them first, it hits us too afterwards. So we need to just, you know, get it right. You can't continue doing what we're doing against nature. She is obliged to fight back. And that's exactly what is happening right now. Although the government has thus fears of food shortage due to effect of flood in states located along the courses of rivers Niger and Benue, experts insist there must be investment in urban renewal projects, including developing greener environments to address flooding droughts and erosion. Justin Akadoni, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.